As he enjoys his retirement in Jinja, the 82-year-old Henry Chamber can't help looking back at particular events in that presidency that affected him personally. He starts his story in 1972 when he was serving as a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Culture. One day, his minister Yoko Sefa Tengu was scheduled to preside over graduation ceremony at Insami's training institute. As he approached Kajansi along Entebbe Road, on his way to Nsamizi, Chamber had a radio announcement in which President Idi Amini had sacked four ministers, including Engu. Startled about the announcement, Chamber proceeded to Nsamizi and on reaching there, immediately called State House by phone to inquire who the new minister was. What followed was the booming voice of Amin on the other end of the line, appointing him as a minister. The next response I got, instruction I got from the uh, president, I mean, was, you are the minister, T take over. That's how I became minister of culture and community development. I never applied for the job. I never did. That was, uh, whether it was by coincidence or whether it was, well, uh, only the late I mean would have answered that one. Before serving under Amin, Chamber had been private principal secretary to all state president Milton Obote. In fact, Chamber was with his boss in Singapore for the Commonwealth Conference when Obote was overthrown. He only returned through Dar es Salaam, where Obote and some of his entourage had sought asylum. Chamber recalls that despite not being highly learned, Amini's first cabinet was composed of technocrats who he appointed from the previous government. Some of the ministers were professors. Uh, professor Banagi, a professor of zoology, engineer Zikusoka, was a minister, uh, prof, uh, one of the celebrated engineers, Yagagaire. These were appointed by, uh, by no other but by uh, Amin himself. He adds that the cabinet borrowed from the vast experience and held open debates on state policies at the time. I remember when we were discussing the, uh, when uh, Honorable Paul Etiang, suggested the enhancing of uh, ginger port, uh, Uganda Airlines, uh, Port Bell port, uh, enlarging them and so on. Railways, you could, uh, common sense prevailed. And you wouldn't come and say, I'm, I'm, I'm also here, but I want this one to be done. However, over time, as opposition to his rule intensified, especially among the elites, Amin reportedly became more insecure, brutal and intolerant to any debates about his policies, leading to the appointment of his henchmen into the cabinet. One of my drivers, and this was the one, whom I had, uh, had asked me to help him with the driver, when he lost his driver. He was with us at State House, and I thought it was a good driver, who comes from also from West Nile. He was very happy with the uh, assignment, but when he got, as I say, when he got insecure in the cabinet, he was one of those appointed to be a minister in animal industry. Chamber, who later served as health minister for five years under Amin, recalls the few times the president presided over cabinet meetings and how he treated his ministers. If I see the minister is a coward, automatically I kick you out of my office. Because I know that you have got something wrong with you. When he came to cabinet meeting, he would come to say, Hubbard, I, I want you to do this. Oh, you haven't done this. He blasts you and goes away. And that's how the ministers, some of them were dismissed. You told us that Amin rarely attended cabinet. But were there some days he would come armed and you all get scared. We had his gun in the holster here all the time. He never left it in the office. Um, because the office, you would walk, we would walk from the president's office then to the secretary and to the cabinet. And there is no if that was it. And if, even if it was in a table, he wouldn't disarm him and address and then come to a cabinet meeting. Chamber, who finally fell out with Amin before he fled into exile, talks of Amin as a man who was obsessed with power. Human beings are supposed to behave better than animals. But if you act in a way 
where you are compared to an animal and less, then obviously there is a problem. He did certain things. See, he knew how to be popular. He knew how to preserve himself as an animal and beyond. But there is a limit to what you can do. He has a caution for other leaders. As he enjoys his retirement, Chamber is now a member of the National Elders Forum, which is behind the National Dialogue, to bring harmony among political parties. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV.